Robbie, we'll just start with the fantastic news that Ian Henderson has returned to the club on an initial one-year deal. What can you tell us about that? Um, well, yeah, it's, it's, it was one of those things that has obviously been um, talked about a lot outside the building. And I met with Ian maybe a week to ten days ago for a coffee, um, just to, to get an understanding of where each other was and um, to make sure that he was prepared to speak with us and, and take it further. And he, and he was. We had a really open discussion on that. And we're delighted to bring somebody in of his ability. Um, his experience will help the other forwards. I think that's really key. You know, if we look at the, the three forwards that we've got in the building in Tav, Luke and Devante, all relatively, in it, well, two of them relatively inexperienced at this level, but coming into prime years, where someone like Ian, although he's competing for a, a place in the team alongside them, should benefit their development as well. And that's, that's key for this. So really pleased to get him in. Obviously, I'm sure the, the supporters will be happy, but I want to make, make it really clear. It's not a nostalgic thing because um, I wasn't here the first time he was. So it's a footballing decision. It's my decision and hopefully he'll score the goals that gives us a really promising season. Yeah, Ian pointed that out in his interview as well, where he said that he sees this very much as a, a new start and a new chapter for him working under a, a new management team with new ideas. But are you also looking forward to working with Ian? Of course, you know, he's a quality player. Still looks very fit. I know he had a little issue last year, but he's he's passed everything that we've asked him to to do. Um, and when the opportunity to bring in a goal scorer comes along, um, you've got to take it. So that's what we've done. We feel last year we created lots of chances and maybe didn't take enough. So again, he'll complement the other forwards we've got in the building. I think we've got a really nice blend now. Um, you know, we've got pace and power. We've got work rate. We've got quality. And I'm hoping Ian just brings that little bit of X factor at the top end of the pitch when we need it. As you said, quite rightly said, he's not coming back for nostalgic reasons. But were you very much aware of, of his legend status within the fan base here and what he achieved during that previous seven year spell? I am now, now that it's uh, getting announced. I, I think you know it's, ob it's obvious what Ian's done at the, at the club in the past and that should always be respected and um, admired as well. Um, but we're looking to the future, we're looking to have a, a really good season on the pitch um, and I think it's got to be really clear that this isn't anything other than a footballing decision on my part and I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think it would work so Ian's well on board with that, like I say we had a really open discussion um, and he's coming to, to compete and get in the team and score. In terms of recruitment and um, looking specifically at extensions of contracts, Ethan Briley at the other end of his career where he's really just sort of getting started. He's signed a, a recent extension. How pleased are you to manage to, that he's been able to do that? Really pleased. So it was a, it was a conversation I had with Ethan, his parents and his, his representatives at the start of the season. I've always felt Ethan has the ability to, to play and probably kick on from here and go have a fantastic career. But um, it was a, a development issue with him. We had a, a set plan. It's, it's kind of what me and Jimmy Shanna pretty good at I think with our past experience at other clubs um, so yeah he, he followed that to, to the letter last year got some really good experience going out on road to Spennymore and now Ethan's firmly in my mind to be contention to start again I never say any players a guaranteed starter once they're in the team it's up to them to stay in there but you know Ethan's got fantastic quality we're going to see a lot of him this year um, and I think on the back of his development programme from last year, it'll do him the world of good. There was times where we could have thrown him in last year and I just didn't think it was quite right. The team was struggling. I didn't want to put over too much emphasis on a young player trying to get us out of that rut at times. But yeah, now we're in a good position to say, come on Ethan, you can kick on with us and I'm sure you will. You said after Saturday there might be a couple um, of new additions this week. Of course, we've got Ian Henderson. Will there be any anyone else through the door before the weekend? I'm hoping so. I think we, we, we're we looking at a couple of loans now and um, I'm really close to at least two. The issue we've got is those players are out with their first team in foreign countries. Different, um, so it's difficult to actually get the deal to sign sealed. But the agreements are pretty much there. Um, you know, I've spoken to... Let's, I don't know, let's be really conservative, it's 150, 200 players over the past four or five weeks. And genuinely I'm excited with the recruitment we've done. 
Um, we fought off a hell of a lot of competition for some of these players from divisions above. So the pull of the club is there and they can see what we're trying to do. And now it's just the final little bits. Um, but like I said, the, the lone ones are always a little bit tricky because teams need to maintain squads for their pre-season games. So if we go into the last 10 days and nobody's seen anything, it's not that they haven't been done. We just have to be a little bit patient with that. Yep, Sunday actually marks your one year anniversary as manager right. of this football club. Okay. It's been a crazy year, lots of stuff happening on and off the pitch. But how much are you enjoying and relishing the opportunity of a full pre season where you where you can can go out and get the targets that you intend to bring to the club without having anything sort of hampering that? Okay, yeah, well I didn't realise it was it was a year on. Um probably aged about ten in those in that time. I think all I can say is it's the enjoyment comes from you can actually have a plan. Um, we set out targets at the end of last season and we managed to, to get the, nearly all of them, to be perfectly honest. We already really missed out on one that I was keen to bring in and it was a uh, an excellent offer financially and loc you know locality as well for that player, so no problem. That happens. We've stolen players from other teams, so um, if you go back a year, like you say, three or four days into the job, transfer embargo hits, difficult time. Um, so the enjoyment comes from, yeah, I think we can plan, we've got her in a better place, we've done a lot of business fairly early and now it's just making sure we get the right ones on top of that. Um, are you looking now for fans to, to come and support these lads and make sure that they're behind them from that first game when we play Crew on the 30th of July? I, I genuinely hope so. Um, I know that last year wasn't easy at times, um, but that's you know that's in the past. You learn from that. I think the recruitment we've done with someone like Ian, Ethan re-signing, that's exciting times. But even going back to the start of the window, Ethan, Ebanks Landell, you know, to, to get a player of his calibre means that I've been backed well. You know, the budget is improved, but it's not massive. We're still going to be, you know, mid to lower half with that. So all the support that I can get from the supporters coming through the gate just helps the club, it goes back into the team and hopefully we'll give them a, a team that they can support and be really proud of this season. And just on the injury front whilst uh, well, it popped into my head, we, when we last spoke about Tav he was waiting, uh, waiting a, a fresh scan, um, is there any update on him? Yeah, improving, which is really positive news. Um, he's actually away at St George's Park this week, so um, injured players get the option through the PFA to, to drop into St George's where they can get round the clock treatment, obviously the facilities are unbelievable um, and for someone like Tav as well who comes into our training base every day, sees the same faces, sees the same players going out to train, he's left behind, it can be it can be difficult, it could be a lonely moment, I, was, I had that as a player, so a change of scenery um, for him will do him the world of good but I still think we we'd be really pushing it for him to be fit for the start of the season but hopefully not too far off after that. Yeah, we, we chat not long after a pre-season friendly against Chesterfield behind closed doors. Another decent run out for the lads? Decent run out. We started the five trialists. Um, so obviously there's a little bit of upheaval, not quite um, the connections on the pitch that you'd expect. But saying that again, I don't get bogged down with, with score lines or anything. We actually lost the game 3-2, but we had three youth team players on the pitch at the end. We changed the whole 11 at 60 minutes. So again, it can be a bit stop-start. I, I, I go back to, we will know where we are probably in the last couple of weeks in terms of getting players 90 minutes and getting that fluidity on the pitch. But yeah, as, as a training exercise, you can't replicate playing against another team on your own training pitch. So um, again, everybody came through no injuries, more minutes in the legs, so a positive afternoon. Yeah, the first half 11 got sort of 65 minutes today, is it just about increasing that game time there? Yeah, so we'll flip that on Saturday, so there's always a plan in place, um, and then we're going to Scunthorpe and Port Vale and probably looking to get 90 minutes into into the players then, so it's a steady, gradual build-up, but they're in a pretty good, um, pretty good place at the moment, like you say, we, of touch wood, have not really had any major issues with any of them so as long as that continues I'll be a happy manager.